Hello everybody, my name is Moritz and today I want to show you my new um, chuck. It is a system 3R zero point system and I would like to show you the inner workings of it because I, I find it very interesting to see how things are made and yeah, to learn and to uh, imagine how would I make them and how maybe could they uh, make them better. So um, I got this on eBay. It is used as you can see, but in yeah, pretty good shape. Um, I got it for around 216 euros and new, um, I asked um, System 3R, they are uh, over 4,000 euros. Um, this one is meant for a lathe chuck so i don't know why but it is meant especially for lace but i will use it on my on my mini machine so let's start um, as you can see here there are different um, geometric points so first there are four um, studs with a, which are meant for the c offset and also there are four um, yeah, studs which are meant for the x y uh, c positioning and also the rotation these actually are made of um, carbide, so they are braced uh, braced onto the base plate, which is awesome. They are very um, wear resistant, and I think these are made out of steel, but they don't wear wear at all, or not as much, because it only is loaded from the top and now uh, not from the side. So I will take one off here to show you. And actually, the screws these are fastened with uh, have a hole, as you can see here. Um, not quite sure why. I think you can blow it with air or with coolant, so the the surface here gets cleaned. And this is a very interesting part. So it is made out of steel, and it is ground on two sides. It is exactly 10 millimeters and there are four of them and these are just screwed down on this um, on this flat surface here as you can see radial grinding so they turned it and they ground it uh, radially yes so now i will take it off the bottom part, uh, the top part. Okay. So this is the top part, of course, with the four studs and these um, studs, which are braced on. It is one piece. And on the bottom, you can see where the studs are mounted. There's also a little groove here. Maybe that's for air or for coolant, so it flushes uh, uh, through the screw onto the the surface here also here in the middle you can see the um, the bore here is ground and the counterpart with the base it is also ground uh, yeah, it's a little bit rusty and it has got an o-ring also, this here, this surface is ground and has got an o-ring also. Okay, so let's continue um, with the, the function. So here is just a cover. Yes, so now there are the, yeah, the inner workings, first of all. You can see I'm not sure if it's original that way or it is modified by the guy I bought it from. So here are thread inserts um, inside the body with every second one. Mm, not sure if that's the design or if I just got it that way. Okay, so now actually um, here um, there is the um, the screw which actuates um, which actuates this the system it is a normal 
um, it is a normal M6 screw or something like that. And if you screw it down or screw it in, as you can see, the balls start to move in and that's the action or that's the movement which then clamps the pallet. So I will remove it here. Um, with these two um, holes, there is, uh, a well, there is a spring, um, which is mounted like this in this hole and this hole, which pushes these outwards um, just to yeah, make it easier and to remove the, the balls or uh, yeah, move the balls easier. Okay, so this inner part um, contains out of two main components. So this is one, uh, one slider here. This part is actually uh, quite simple. So they, um, it is not ground. Um, it is face milled on, on every surface. And here the screw um, pushes against if it moves inwards. And with these, um, with these surfaces, the two balls are pushed in. Yes, and the, the second component of the clamping mechanism is this part here. Um, it is also mostly uh, milled, mostly surface or face milled. And here on the top, this is ground. This is ground, this is ground. And also these two sides are ground. Um, I don't quite, uh, the bottom is ground. I don't quite understand why the sides are ground because at the, um, at the base, um, these, these surfaces are also just uh, milled. So mm, I don't quite understand it. They could, in my opinion, they could um, yeah, leave it uh, milled, but I'm not quite sure. Yes, and here are the small balls, um, which yeah, just are loose inside there. Uh, yes, and this is the the base plate. I think it is one piece. So this and the the inside stem here, the inside bore where the screws are, uh, the the balls are. I think it is one piece. Actually, the finish. Yeah, it's just a, a rough um, rough milling finish inside here. This top surface is ground. And yes, the bottom, of course, is also ground. Also quite interesting um, in the middle. I'm not sure how good it is visible. There is a, a through coolant hole. So here at the side, there is a, a hole with a thread. And um, here um, they drilled a, a, a hole right through the base inside the inside there and they've got a, a hole from the top so actually if you um, blow air inside there or coolant it flows uh, through these two holes and comes out here in the middle um, i think that's a feature used for edm work not so much for milling yes also there are these uh, holes. Uh, I'm not quite sure what their function is. So the first um, about six millimeters is threaded. Then there is just a hole. And yeah, I'm not sure what they are used for. Um, when I received it, these plugs were in them, but they didn't reach all the way through. Maybe um, uh, there were some springs in there just to to align it because they um, they work on these uh, four surfaces. Maybe it was meant to to align this uh, mechan mechanism inside so it doesn't shift. But 
um, I think it would it will work um, without these springs or without these um, features. Yes, so all in all, um, pretty simple mechanism. Um, I think, yeah, uh, another quite interesting feature um, where, where I'm not quite sure how they made it because, or which leads me to thinking if this and this are one piece. So actually, how did they drill these holes for the balls? So as you can see, if I put in my Allen key, it is quite uh, quite hard to reach it and it is formed in a way that the balls cannot drop inside so it, so there is a little lip and i am not sure how they would mill it maybe with a lollipop um, cutter they could mill it but the surface doesn't look quite milled so it may be or it could be possible that uh, this inside um, tube here is somehow uh, a second part and they um, yeah, screwed it together or melted it together, I don't know, welded it together to, to produce these, these holes. Yes, so that's it. Uh, I will put it back together with the main components. one is on top it is very so the fit and finish is extremely good uh, as you can see here very tight fit and with the o-ring it moves right into it no play and a very very nice um, zero point system thanks for watching and yeah have a nice day